Before we start, I'd like to mention some trigger warnings. There is going to be mention of suicide, mental illness, and breakdowns. So if any of that is hard to listen to or think about, please click on another video and I'll see you then. Thank you for listening. Either way, let's get into the video. Maya? What are you doing here? You were on a walk to the skate park, trying to get in more practice for your next job. It was somewhere near a crosswalk. You always walked past to get there, but when you came in to see Maya with no skateboard... Huh? Oh. Uh, hi, Wayan. What, what are you doing here? He scratched the back of his head nervously, looking around to avoid eye contact. Well... I was coming here to practice. What are you doing here? You don't have your board or anything with you. Swiftly walk past him, sitting on a nearby bench and getting out your roller skates and knee pads. While you were doing so, you continued to look at him, searching for an answer, but he stayed silent, continuously looking back and forth between you and anything else around him. Uh, I was just, um, I, I came back for something. I left. Something here, yeah. He nodded to himself and you noticed how he was standing awkwardly. He looked as if he doesn't believe his own lie. Over the year and a half of working with Maya, you become quite used to his mannerisms, but this wasn't quite new to say the least. Whatever you say, Chinin. Anyway, if there's nothing else, I'll be going now. Bye. You wave, skating off, going on to practice on the rink. Bye. Sadly, Maya waved back, wanting your presence again, though he'd never admit to such things. He loves your presence and takes any chance he can to see you, and almost coincidentally, seeing you everywhere. Maya, you're here too? You look up from your hoodie and see a familiar face in front of you. Somehow, you'd seen Maya again off the job just at 7-Eleven to get a snack for yourself in the late hours of the night. Hi, Wayne. What are you doing here? He hadn't meant to actually start talking to you. He looked off to the side again, like usual, not daring to look you in the eye. Just getting a snack? What are you doing here? It's late. You look at Maya and worry that he's not getting adequate sleep. Uh, the same to you. He looked nervous, scratching the base of his neck. You seem to be everywhere I go, don't you, Maya? You chuckle, smiling at him, holding a few snacks and walking up to the cashier to pay for them. I do. It, it seems that way to you. He tilts his head. He wasn't aware that this was a reoccurring thing. He just saw you around a few times, at stores, arcades, a few other places, all of such. They were all coincidences, so neither of you thought much of it. Not until you met at the crosswalk. It was months after the convenience store encounter with Maya, and he hadn't seen you since. Until now. The two of you stood opposite sides of the crosswalk, though it looked as if you hadn't even noticed him. Your eyes glued to the ground, and when the light turned green, you walked across the crosswalk. Why in? He dashed at you, pushing you out of the way of a car that had almost hit you. He hugged you closer, tears laced with both happiness and sadness. Why would you do that unwillingly? He didn't know, but he was sure as hell going to find out. What were you thinking? You could have died. That was the point. I was trying to do that. You interrupt him, and when you looked at him, your state was horrible. You looked drained of energy. Your hair was messy, though Maya wasn't sure if it was from the rain or something else. You were in an oversized clothing, and not the ones you'd usually wear. They were more ragged and thrown together than usual. Your eyes, they looked tired, bags weighing them down from countless nights of no sleep. What? What caused this? He gripped your shoulders tight, shaking you. Huh? What happened? You looked so happy. What happened? And why did you... Why did you almost... You don't say anything. You just push him away and start walking off somewhere. Why in? What are, where are you going? Hey, explain. I don't need to explain anything to you. 
You were frustrated. Frustrated. You couldn't just leave how you wanted. Frustrated someone had to save you. Frustrated with your career. You were just frustrated with everything. It was a constant buildup of responsibility and you... You couldn't take it. You were a child. Damn it, leave me alone and stop finding me at crosswalks. Thank you for listening. Um, I do plan to post um, two more today. One of Maya and another one of uh, Asano. Yeah, stay tuned for that. Have an amazing morning. Have an amazing evening. Have an amazing afternoon whenever you're listening to this. And I will see you guys in a couple of hours. Goodbye, everyone.